Hey, Rapper Jake here today. I'm joined by Carrie and Jason, and we are currently inside of Rapper Art Museum. How's it going, you two? Going good. Awesome. Going good. Yep. So uh, we are currently in the museum during the installation of a brand new exhibit that is, at the time of this viewing, is now open, uh, which is actually a collaboration, right? Absolutely. So we have two art galleries like coming together like Voltron to make like this super <laughs> art gallery. <laughs> I like that. Yes. <laughs> like, I feel like uh, Are Power Rangers, maybe Power Rangers. Yeah, become, feel, you know... But we're we're small. We're just like a, we're like an extra battery pack <laughs> for the museum. Like the bag lithium of battery ion, pack. When you, like don't when sell yourself short. You're li the lithium ions of the battery pack. Totally. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Pack. Yep. So uh, so, Carrie, tell me a little bit about the collaboration and how it came together, and then Jason, tell me all about the shows. Of course. Okay. So. Um, when Jason and Ega moved back to Rockford a few years ago, hey, hey. two years ago, a year and a half ago, two years two ago, two years ago, yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Super excited, Ooh. we miss Jason and Ega, oh. and when they came back, they um, <laughs> with new genres art space, um, everything that they've done has been killer. I mean, I really loved everything that they've produced. Super inspiring because new genres is a completely different art art center that does something completely different and unique than anybody else in Rockford. And so after seeing so much of the cool work that they were doing, I thought, let's see what they could do with 10,000 square feet of space. <laughs> right. And uh, just kind of set that challenge to them, but I knew that they could do it and I knew that they would just transform our museum that has not done anything like this before. I just thought it would be super unique and exciting to team up with new genres and see what magic they could create, which they did. Yeah, so tell me about the magic, Jason. Uh, the magic, you know, uh, I think it's magical <laughs> to get this opportunity from, from Carrie uh, in the museum. Uh, I think it says a lot about the Rockford Art Museum, a lot about uh, where Carrie is, is shifting focus. And I mean, it's a, it's a place that you feel embraced, whether you're uh, coming in to see the show, whether you're uh, being invited to curate something, so on and so forth. So thank you um, and congratulations on just killing it in Rockford. We're glad to be embraced with open arms. Uh, so uh, she trusts us. So yeah. that's, uh, that's going to be uh, really pivotal to, to, the, to the shows. Uh, the shows are, are, are great. We have uh, two solo exhibitions. Uh, one is in the main large gallery space, uh, top floor of the museum. Yep. And that's by an artist, uh, Jonah King. Uh, Jonah is an Irish born artist living and working in Brooklyn right now. Uh, Jonah uh, makes uh, new media, um, uh, uh, immersive, uh, experimental video, so on and so forth. Sure, <laughs> uh, yeah. New genres. All right? the new genres. All the new genres. Uh, so uh, it, it's been a pleasure to work with Jonah. I've been trying to work with Jonah for a long time. So when this uh, presented itself, um, the space was right, right? Uh, Jonah's work is big. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, like I said, immersive. So right off the bat, I think Egan and I said, yes, Jonah King is the one. The second exhibition, we wanted to, to think about somebody here, like who's doing new media, new genres around here. Her name is Veronica Soria Martinez. Uh, she was born in Spain, but she lives right here in Rockford. Mm -hmm. she, I know, and she's That's awesome. uh, it's so awesome. Uh, she, she teaches for new genres, actually. She, does, uh, she teaches a lot of our sound art classes. Okay. She has a PhD in uh, intermedia, so she's been published too. So uh, that's who we have in the other room, and her exhibition is awesome. You have a little bit of video, um, a, a, a ground lit sculpture, but really, you might come in and say like, "This is, hey, you, get, you forgot to put the art in here." <laughs> but actually, uh, actually, her sculptures are virtual, so they're augmented reality AR, and you uh, can use your smart device to view. Uh, a lot of the sculptures in the room. Yeah. Or uh, we'll, we'll have an iPad up here for people who, who need that. And you can go ahead and, and you know, look around and maybe experience for the first time ever uh, augmented reality art exhibition from Veronica, which is very cool. 
Very, very cool. And then in here in the in the main space, what is this exhibit about? We see a timeline here. Yes, yes. That is yes. currently well, being held up by tape. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> This is what what vinyl looks like before before it's mounted, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. And if you ever worked in a museum, you know all about vinyl. <laughs> so, uh, Jonah King's exhibition here is called "How the West Was Won," uh, thinking about uh, some big, big uh, social issues, climate change, uh, colonialism, and all kind of through this lens of golf. Right, this yeah, super past cool. time that's been you know kind of politicized and about uh, privilege, right? So uh, what we're looking at this huge timeline is is, is something that uh, was funded by the Rockford Area Arts Council, and using the space of the museum, uh, he talks about climate change and colonialism, right, in these huge geological kind of time frames, but highlights these tidbits of uh, information. So you're looking at the chron chronology of golf, but also actually using that chronology of golf to look at how uh, the westward expansion happened, right? Yeah. How climate change has led to uh, the most uh, California wildfires, you know, I, I believe ever recorded just this last summer and those kind of topics. So it's a very uh, kind of, uh, humorous, tongue-in-cheek exhibition mm -hmm. that um, I think asks some hard questions. Once you once you giggle, you might think about it. Yeah, right. and the timeline too. It's like I just by putting vinyl up and rereading through it too. It's giving like a pretty accurate history of what else was happening at the at you know in the context of of it all. Right. But it's it's pretty. You know, I was like my my heart was hurting with a lot of you know it yeah. makes you think and a lot of things. I was like. Eh. Man, I'm going back in my history books now, you know, and just kind of readdressing these issues oh, that have been geez. happening for hundreds of years. So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a fascinating timeline. It really is. That's amazing. Yeah. And so the, um, at the time that this is published, this exhibition will be open to the general public. So uh, how can people come take a look at it and experience it themselves? And how long is the exhibition going to be available? The exhibition is going to run through Memorial Day. So end of May. So you've got plenty of time to see it. We are open Thursday through Sunday from 10 to five every week. What's really great too, um, since we didn't do a normal opening is we are planning on as kind of restrictions lift, um, we are hoping for some really great programming that's gonna come up in the next few months. We've got Jonah coming to visit in May and also Veronica is planning on doing um, some sort of lecture. So we'll have more information on our website and social media platforms about that. So stay tuned for that, but please come down and visit anytime Thursday through Sunday. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, you two, for taking the time to get together and chat. And congrats on the new exhibition. That's pretty awesome. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I just want to give a real shout out to our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support that I'm able to talk with people like Carrie and Jason and tell you all about new art exhibits coming up here in the greater Rockford region. So big thank you to them. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs>